Good morning, everybody. It is a bright, sunny morning here in the Philippines. It's about 7 a.m., and man, you can already feel the sun's gonna be intense today. I'm gonna get busy here uh, doing some work, and uh, one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start forming for columns here. And I'm gonna do these a little bit different than the ones down below. These are gonna be inside my house, and I'm gonna put a little spin on these, a little different than the basic work that we did down below on the first floor. I don't know why you don't just put that still right there and drag it up while you're bending around all the staircase for We got a lot of stray dogs and neighborhood dogs that just keep passing through this fence at night. Back and forth tripping that solar night light all night long squeezing through when we made this i did not realize that a whole dog could fit through there so easy what what is that gap so any of you ever build a fence that was a four and a half inch gap and a whole dog's head and body even these full-grown filipino dogs here fit right through there believe it or not i could not believe it and so, uh, man, they just pass through it like it's nothing. So we had some screen left over from where we made the little uh, Nippa hut shed back there in the back for the boat. And I asked them to split that in half and tie it across the bottoms here on all of this. It don't look too bad. I think it looks pretty nice. And that'll stop all of that problem. And if somebody goes to climb over my gate, they're gonna have to step on this and tear all of this up. So I'm about to make the columns for upstairs in our living space. And some of these columns are gonna be inside the house and you're, you're gonna always be seeing them. They're gonna be an intricate part of your interior. And uh, I want them to be a little bit more nice looking and decorative. So what I'm gonna do on these is I'm gonna put a bull nose on them. And they look really nice. I mean, they really do. And it's safer too. Somebody fall down, trip, and you got a sharp corner on the concrete, you know, whack your head. It's an interior living space. You want it to be friendly space, right? And the concrete's not going to give. So uh, your head's going to be the one to give. You trip, fall, hit a sharp concrete corner. Well, let me show you how I'm going to do this radius. Uh, and maybe this will be a good thing that might help you if you want to do something like this sometime. All of these are repurposed screws. 
I like using these uh, better than those black ones. They're not so corrosive like those black ones are. And as some of my subscribers pointed out in the past, this Torx head is way better. Some people call it star head. It's a Torx. Um, Torx head is way better too, of not slipping and all, than what the Phillips head is. So if you're going to get any screws to work on this, I really suggest these or the square drive. It's also really great. Used a lot in the RV industry. The square drive is also very good. Now, some of those Phillips screws that you buy out there on the market, they are actually a combination of a square drive and a Phillips. So if it looks kind of big right down in the core of it, look at it or check it out because some of them will use either or square or Phillips and that might not be so bad. All right, so here we are again. I made a little correction here because this pipe can be split into not half, but maybe into three pieces so that you get a nice radius like this right here. You see that? So it ain't split it in half because you'll get too much radius there. The curve will come on back around. So I think it's going to be splitting it into thirds instead. So we recut these. You see when we form it now, you're going to have a nice radius in there. And the reason I want to use the thin, uh, like what is that? Uh, 600 series is what they call it here in the Philippines. The, the ordinary thin drain pipe. So when you cast it, you don't end up with a big, thick lip here on the edge, which that's going to require more finishing later on. Uh, this way, you only have a little thin lip left right there when you cast this. Have it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, right on the edge. No man, let it stay long. You need, right, a, right. you need a short hammer? Short hammer on hey, where's that one? Yeah. Okay. Now. Nails. <laughs> nails, nails. I got a couple there. We'll find more. Things I can never do myself. <laughs> they even need grease or butter to get me down inside there. And then they might as well dig a hole and bury me once they do it. <laughs> uh. It's the only one we're having to build like this where it's completely boxed and we got to slide it in over the top of the, the column. None of the rest have four radiuses on it on the inside. Just this one in the middle of that one room as I explained earlier. So uh, no, we don't have to build them all like this. The others will just have two radiuses and so we can leave one side of the form off, three sides will be on there, put it on there, nail it, no problem at all with this one. <laughs> we had to kind of do it unique. <laughs> so how was your experience inside the tunnel? Huh? It was claustrophobic? Huh? Did you see bats? <laughs> My mom and I were putting a couple of pieces of cribbing on the outside. We got to put many more than this. We don't want to get it too heavy because we got to lift it up high over some steel in the air. They're setting up some bamboo scaffolding there for it right now and slip it down. So we also don't want to cut our steel because that's going to extend on through 
to the uh, rooftop where there's a third floor room up there where the stairwell comes out so we can't cut that steel we'll be extending it right back and then just weakening it so uh, we're gonna set up some scaffolding and we're gonna have to lift this thing high in the air and slide it down on there but it's looking pretty good here you see now I've got all my radius there how's that look pretty cool huh and uh, I see one place somebody's gonna have to crawl back in there and repair that it doesn't have a nail yeah if that one little place the cement can get behind it it's right down there it'll go behind it and mess the whole thing up so uh, yep I have to still slip somebody back up there again put one nail They're getting a scaffolding built up right there so we can slip that form over the top and that all prepared oh, that pretty well. right there A tower. got it in there sorry that this video is all kind of blown out by the Sun but the Sun's straight overhead so it's really blowing it out no matter what angle I get you got it <laughs> Look at, there's one two three four five six seven 
seven people, right? Five, six, seven, seven people up there. <laughs> and this is the teamwork right here, boy. And there it is. They got it. They got it. All right. Woohoo! So we're getting all the additional cribbing on now. Getting this thing prepared, prepared. I have a little bit of a load in it. Be it the first first concrete poured on the second floor. I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, I'm already uh, the same bottles. They never stop. Don't make it too wet. Don't make it too wet. Deline, don't add too much. Don't make it too wet. They like that wet for their ease. Uh, it's just amazing though. They never, they never change. It's like all the work we've done below, now we're up on the second floor, and this has been on many things. It's like starting from day one with them all over again. From like from the very beginning of this job. Uh, It's because your your tent's too far inside. So that's our door jam right there. So while they have it here, I'm gonna drill this and I'm gonna put screws in before they install it anyway. Cause they just have nails. So I'm gonna drill that and put screws. You should you should be able to turn that this well the upstairs did get its first concrete pour today i formed this this morning and then got them to come help uh bring it up here i did have to get joel to go inside and help uh nail down the middle of it that's pretty fun <laughs> and so we poured the very first concrete on the second floor today a column with four radiuses on it four bull noses on it i think that's going to be beautiful right out here and this open space in the middle of the room kitchen being off over there dining there open floor plan and have those bull nose corners i think it's going to be super nice can't wait to peel that and let you all see how it's turning out here where you see this sheet of plywood is where I'm beginning another form here. I'll pick back up on it first thing in the morning. And so this would be another column here poured and a short little wall. 
right there where you see that cocoa lumber heading over to that side it's going to be a glass wall four meters wide and so it'd be a little short wall next to the column a little short wall over here next to the column and uh, then another four meters of glass going again the other way and what's nice about that is it starts giving us a solid fixed point you know we pull this now we got a solid fixed column in place it sturdies all the steel above you don't have everything moving all these different directions you know and once again the same here it's going to lock this in place so back home in texas i just got done again constantly watching my security cameras and watching the things that are unfolding there i've been making contact with patrick i've been making contact with my cousin that's watching the cattle and all and they everyone assures me everything's okay uh i i know my cousin is a good guy so uh, i have really no worries about that i just want him to know that i appreciate what he's doing though i really do and uh yeah to see texas with this much snow is just rare i think i read somewhere it was like 86 89 something like that they said that the last time we had it like this there in texas and uh it's amazing i don't ever remember no 14 below and 16 and 18 below wind chills never in my life do i remember that so that's pretty crazy too no you people that live up north and in other places that's no big deal for you guys but you're prepped you're accustomed you're acclimated to it down in the south that would be like that happening here kind of you know we're not acclimated to that it would be like the world has come to an end we're about to meet christ you know if that happened here in this country <laughs> well we're about halfway with that in texas you know all right well i'm gonna close out this day and i'm tired i i worked through their lunch uh and i mean worked i worked i i'm the one that's been doing a bunch of stuff here and i've been pushing them to really go 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 they've been in like a slow mood here lately and i say hey guys y'all gotta pick it up yeah so uh nevertheless it seemed like when i got up here with them and got things to really happening though their moods pepped up and uh uh it brought some energy back in so i said you know what i need to really get myself back deeply involved uh not just be instructing but be working and i don't mind i feel great about it but i am tired so i'm gonna close out this video and i hope that you've all enjoyed it today and i hope you all stay warm and toasty and i just really hope that you keep power and um and be safe just be safe i know this is happening across a vast part of the united states um your safety your well-being is number one going to store for junk is not important so uh stay home stay safe take care and we love you